Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neil and I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Happy Father's Day. Yes. Those of you who are dads, uh, if you're not a dad, uh, happy Sunday, I guess. Yeah. You know, um, so we're going to we're gonna do a follow up on this uh, Primo situation. Uh, we talked about yesterday that they're getting all kinds of backlash. And uh, one little tidbit we neglected to mention was that the, uh, the voice actress of the main character is out there saying some really dumb stuff yeah. on social media. It's like, could never, they never can just stay quiet and stay down. No, no, no. No. They always have to triple down on it. And then this, and, and then say really stupid things. And then, you know, oh, oh my God, they're attacking me. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to talk a little bit about this and, and uh, look at the reaction to it. And look, this is part of the problem with social media. Social media is great for promoting your, your shows, your movies, your video games. It's also great for demoting or anti-marketing for your shows, movies, video games, and comics. It's books. usually the voice, the voice actors, the actors that are the ones like we saw with Cowboy Bebop. Yes. It, before it even came out, you had the the person um, playing, playing Faye, Faye yeah. going out and making all the comments they were yep. making. Yep. And then it just turned a bunch of off before it even arrived. I mean, she had kept her mouth shut. It might not have landed with such a thud. Yeah. Initially, it still would have. You know, thought it out, but yeah, but people would have at least given it a chance. You would have got that precious watch time in. And, uh, you know, what happened was, is that uh, Danielle Panita, I think her mm -hmm. name was, but she was out there, you know, smug, smarmy. Well, you know, Faye, you know, I, I'm wearing an outfit that a real woman could wear. Some, something to that effect. I it was like a big comment about people like making comments about her. Uh, know, right, right. And, stuff. and I was like, oh, this is not, just why? Why'd you do that? I mean, I understand what you feel personally attacked. I get that. I really, truly do. But sometimes you're best to just, say nothing yeah i think these studios need to rein their people in and tell them to say nothing uh so we're gonna we're gonna talk about this because now the bigger story beyond all the tropes and primos and all the stuff we talked about yesterday is the voice actress going out there and and taking people to task and falling on her face basically she looks condescending and smug and people are not happy with her so before we enter any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! All right. So, yeah, check out that other video. We're not going to rehash everything, but we are going to show you um, her reaction here. This is uh, Myrna Velasco, I believe, is the uh, voice actress of, um, what's her name, Tater. We're going to run this clip I think she put on TikTok. Hold on one second here. Spanish language is not a Latin American language. It's a language the Spanish conquistadors forced upon Latin American people. The only reason we're Latin people and not Native American people I hate when they... is because of that distinction. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. she just keeps going on. Here's the thing. You, I love it because, you know, over the course of, over the course of history, um, Areas have been, you know, taken over and there have been wars and it was, it, and this group took over that group and that group took over this group and this group took over that group and this was part of this empire, that was part of the empire, that was part of this empire. And it's like, yeah, historically speaking, that is, that is true. Um, but you're going you, to, if you're going to think that your argument, but prior to that, people probably took over other places and, you know, it, it just, your argument's stupid. And what language is she chastising everyone in? Is this the one that was, <laughs> is this the one that, that Squicky was talking about that was like, I'm like Latin American, Mexican American woman. I'm uh, a Native American woman, and was like yeah, trying to list yeah, all these yeah, things. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, really? Like yeah. So this is not this is not going well. Um, Just like why you're basically telling everybody that it's so it's so you know, okay that you can identify that way because colonizers. I'm so tired of colonizers. colonizers. Like we heard with the stupid with the stupid uh, Cleopatra show. Well, the colonizers, you don't know. I'm like, are you are you fucking kidding me Blame right now? Blame the colonizers. Uh, I bet she. I think she looks smarter with those glasses because of how she said this was uncorrelated and condescending. Yeah, she said it was un, un, it was condescending. This is like writing a script in English grammatically incorrect and writer says, who cares? It's not our language anyway. The British forced this yes, on basically. us. Yes, um, basically. God, she really just said, I'm not going to learn Spanish because it's an imposed language to the Native Americans while talking in English. Yes, she did. What can I say except yikes? 
God, she looks so smug in that video. Yeah, I have seen. This does not help your case. I have seen some. Uh, Danielle Pena was the same way. She was a, had that smug thing going on. Like I'm going to school you, people. And it's like, no, you're you're making yourself completely unlikable at this point. People are already angry about this show, and you just stepped in it. And it wasn't even like, geez, you know what? Hey, sorry, I don't like it. Give the show a chance. That's usually how you do it. Mm -hmm. But no, 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 no. We got to sit there with the glasses on. I'm smarter than you are. I'm an intellectual. And probably some of the choices you know. that were made probably weren't even up to them. It was probably the studio no. mandated things. Because um, they, 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 you know, their test group said it would appeal to a bigger audience. They did this, this, and this. A lot of times it's not even their fault. Like even with Kevin Smith, like with He-Man, I think a lot of the mandates were from Netflix. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. And, I'm you sure. know... That, but they they take all the heat and they can say that, but they won't say that because they're afraid they won't get another biscuit. So instead of saying nothing, they just go out there and step in it further. Uh, she talks like she's a bully from a teen drama. Um, <laughs> she sounds like an insufferable and terrible person. Smug arrogance never looks good and only makes people hate you. Someone sounds salty. This woman ruined even more than the show. It's not even out yet. That's that's key. Like, again, you know, when these people go out there and they shoot their mouths off before the show comes out based on backlash, it's probably why they gagged Ezra Miller, because God knows what Miller would have said, you know, regarding the Flash. They did this to try to, you know, save the movie. But in this case, I think they need to have a clause in the in the freaking contract. Like, if you're going to work for us and you're going to represent us on the show, shut your shut your damn mouth. Like That's when the criticism of our cartoon that few were going to watch anyway, exactly. It was over the top, in my opinion. But the creator and now voice actors' responses are not helping their case either. I think Disney is flat out cursed. Yeah. Yeah. So here's the thing. Um, it's not just that. Okay. She was out on Instagram, too. She actually called Mexico a, uh, uh, a shithole country. Okay. Now, that is there a reference. Yeah, reference. I would say there's a context and people pointing out, though. It was a, a, a they think, it could be completely, it's calling a shithole country. They yes. think it was in reference to Trump saying it was about Mexico being a shithole country. Yes, that that's that's the running theory. But given her, her condescending attitude, people are like, okay, this is too much. So she talked about how her, her family uh, left their shithole country to come to the U.S., and uh, she got to work her dream jobs because of it. Probably not not a good look if you're you're trying to uh, uh, be the the face or voice of representation. Yeah, but this is like during the election. It was like three and a half years. Ago. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it, by the hashtag, it was about um, what Trump had said, or they said Trump had said. Yeah. Um, it wasn't about this now. People are bringing it up now, and I mean, I, this is no different than. When the person that worked at like Limited Run Games had a tweet from like four years ago, five years ago, and someone went through all their tweets to find one thing. It's kind of like that. I don't necessarily think that instance is an example of them, you know, crapping on their on Mexico. Yeah. Um, however, the comments they're making now, they should just not talk. You know, they're just now they're just now they just won't stop talking, which is causing them problems. Oh, absolutely. So um, anyway, I think I think we'll wrap we'll wrap this up. I don't know what else to say about it. I think the show's dead on arrival. Uh, again, you know, the video yesterday it was downvoted to oblivion. YouTube turned the comments off, and uh, it's getting slammed. Especially South America, it's getting yeah. it's getting slammed. Because they're the ones that feel like they're being dissed, which is right. understandable. Mm. So there we go, guys. We're going to wrap this up. I yep. think we need to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.